Between losing comedy royalty, rock and roll legends, and even George Costanza's beloved eccentric mother, it's already been a tough year for celebrity deaths. Let's honor their legacies. Yo, well. Designer was in tears on Instagram Live over the death of his friend, vowing to quit the rap game. <sighs> Yo, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I can't live like this no more. The queen died? So, what do you Oh. Is it true? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, really? Death is the bitter reality of life that we all have to face one day. But sometimes death comes in such an unimaginable way that leaves us all astounded. Believe it or not, these untimely and shocking deaths have left the world heartbroken and with tear glistening eyes. In this video, we have listed all the stars we have tragically lost in the year 2022. Let's take a look at these unfortunate deaths. Last this morning at about approximately 2.34 a.m., officers received a call of a shooting in progress. It was in the downtown location, Billiards Bowling Alley, located at 1201 San Jacinto Street uh, here in the downtown area. Once officers arrived, uh, they came up on a, a male who was deceased. Uh, that male has been identified as Kersnick Ball, better known as Takeoff. On November 1st, the police announced the death of her beloved rapper Takeoff, officially known as Kersnick Kari Ball. The pioneer of the Migos flow greatly influenced the rap industry. Migos first broke the smash hit Versace in 2013, and the group has had four hits on the Billboard Hot 100. Also, Takeoff was set to release his second solo on November 11th, which has sadly not been released yet. In the commemoration of Takeoff, Quavo shared an emotional letter to his late nephew on Instagram. He wrote, Throughout this whole time, he had a real passion for music. It was his dream to become a rapper, because I didn't know what I wanted to do. Then he created his triplet flow and the rest was history. He never worried about titles, credit, or what man got the most shine. That wasn't him. He didn't care about none of that, as long as we brought it back home to the family. The authorities revealed that in the morning around 3.20 a.m. on November 1st, the heartthrob pop star was found dead on the scene. The police declared this as a homicide when the autopsy revealed the cause of death being shot in the head and torso. The fans are shell-shocked by the news. Fortunately, the suspect in the tragedy is under custody now, but the fans still woe the loss forever. Some still cannot believe the death of their idol. On the 5th of November 2022, Aaron Carter was found dead in his Southern California home. The singer was just 34 years old and the heartbreaking announcement has left both his fans and family shocked and distressed. Unfortunately, it's so much more upsetting because Aaron's life was extremely tumultuous. From battling drug addiction to dealing with numerous family issues to his rocky relationship, his last few years had many more downs than they did. Aaron Carter. The 90s most iconic artist and the singer of the masterpiece I Want Candy, sadly the Florida boy had a lot going on in the music world, as well as in the real world, but obviously not in a good way. The childhood pop star was reportedly suffering from schizophrenia, drug addiction, PTSD from sexual abuse, and various familial troubles. The news of Aaron Carter's suicide was a shock to his friends and family, on which Courtney Stodden says, I'm literally so upset about Aaron Carter's death. He's reached out to me so many times, and I was always so afraid that this was going to happen. His tumultuous life came to an end when he was found dead in the bathtub by the housekeeper on November 5, 2022, in his Southern California home. Not to forget, he will always be remembered by his fans and family. Missing someone is, is really part of having a good friend. You're happy when they're around, and you're sad when they're away. Sesame Street's Bob McGrath has died. The sad news was shared on the performer's Facebook page, which noted he died peacefully at home, surrounded by his family. Bob McGrath, the person who made her childhood beautiful, the founding cast member of Sesame Street, radiated warmth and acceptance to children, forming an indestructible bond. The children's living room friend, who was also a professional singer, who made a name for himself, especially in Japan. One of the original cast, Matt Robinson, expressed his sorrow on his death, saying, Rest in peace, Bob, joining Will Lee, Mr. Hooper, and Daddy Gordon in Sesame Street Heaven, where the air is sweet. 
I first met Bob McGrath in 1969 when my father and him start together on Sesame Street. He was the guy you saw on TV, the nicest, sweetest, kindest man. The first time my brother and I got to be on Sesame Street, we had this scene with him. Rest in peace, Bob McGrath. You are so loved all over the world. We lost our friend on December 4th, 2022. He died peacefully surrounded by his friends and family. Cheer star Kirstie Alley has died at the age of 71 from cancer, her children announced on social media. Their statement read in part, she was surrounded by her closest family and fought with great strength, leaving us with a certainty of her never ending joy of living and whatever adventures lie ahead. As iconic as she was on screen, she was an even more amazing mother and grandmother. Kirsty Alley, Rebecca Howe from Cheers, left this world on December 5th. The Emmy and Golden Globe holder debuted in the industry in the film Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan in 1982. The Look Who's Talking actress was also an accomplished interior designer. She was under treatment in Moffitt Cancer Center, but was killed by cancer. She could have sought treatment earlier, but as you know, she was an active member of Scientology, and they don't believe in seeking medical treatment. So on Monday, True and Lily Parker confirmed in their statement that their incredible, fierce, and loving mother had just died. In their statement, they wrote, To all our friends far and wide around the world, we are sad to inform you that our incredible fierce and loving mother has passed away after a battle with cancer only recently discovered we are grateful to the incredible team of doctors and nurses at the Moffitt Cancer Center for their care we thank you for your love and prayers and ask that you respect her privacy at this difficult time aside from her family even her friends are grief stricken after hearing about her demise John Travolta and Kirsty starred together in the 1989 rom-com look who's talking he was so devastated to hear about Kirstie Alley's death that he couldn't stop himself from posting on Instagram and expressed his love for the actress, saying, Kirstie was one of the most special relationships I've ever had. I love you, Kirstie. I know we will see each other again. Robin Griggs, known for her roles on soap operas in Otherworld and One Life to Live, has died. The actress passing was announced on her Facebook page on Saturday. Griggs was diagnosed with stage for endocervical adenocancer in 2020 and she had entered hospice care just days before her death. She had been battling cervical cancer and was open about her health struggles on social media, with Griggs posting last month that she had been diagnosed with four new tumors. The soap opera queen, Robin Griggs, unfortunately died at the age of 49. Her best performance of all time was in another world. She started her career by appearing on Nickelodeon. She earned a Young Artist Award for Best Actress in Daytime Series. She underwent surgery for the removal of cancer and had been actively spreading awareness about this disease. The brave actress was suffering from cervical cancer and battled it for almost two years. She was admitted to hospice care a few days before she tragically died. In her last video update, she explained her conditions herself. Let's see how bravely she withstands and explains her suffering. Hey everyone, I just wanted to let you know my blood work was good enough to have treatment. Thank the Lord. And um, I did have the next treatment and I'm on bed rest currently. I've been very sick. Uh, legs are very weak. Lots of nausea, a lot of pain. A lot of pain, especially um, on my right side where the tumors are and my pelvis um, and my right leg will swell up it Swelled up so much like you couldn't even tell I had an ankle many fans have been supporting her throughout this painful journey One emotional fan tweeted so sad to hear of actress Robin Griggs passing Maggie Corey in other world for a while in the 90s This really is a hard month for NBC and other world fans with the death of Ray Liotta, Anne Heche, and Robin, plus hearing of Paul Michael Valley X Ryan's cancer diagnostic. Our hearts go out for all the fans and family members suffering from her loss. Elizabeth leaves Westminster. The Queen is crowned, symbol of hope. Queen Elizabeth rides forth. Another extraordinary chapter has been written. Queen Elizabeth II, the longest reigning monarch in British history, has died at 96 years old. Queen Elizabeth II, the UK's longest serving monarch, has died at Balmoral after reigning for 70 years. The Queen came to the throne in 1952 and witnessed enormous social change. Her son, King Charles III, expressed great sorrow at the death of his beloved mother, saying, We mourn profoundly the passing of a cherished sovereign and a much loved mother.
I know her loss will be deeply felt throughout the country, the realms and the Commonwealth, and by countless people around the world. The great respect and protocol was expressed by every attendee at the funeral of the great queen. Prime Minister Liz Truss, who was appointed by the queen on Tuesday, said the monarch was the rock on which modern Britain was built, who had provided us with the stability and strength that we needed. At the age of 96, the British monarch died of old age, leaving behind a great history of prosperity in her wake. We are very sad. Every day our talent were died in this year. Zuri Craig, America's Got Talent finalist and Tyler Perry collaborator, has passed away, competing with Jeffrey Lewis as one half of the Craig Lewis band. Craig made it to the finals of America's Got Talent season 10 in 2015. Zuri Craig, a former America's Got Talent finalist who worked on multiple Tyler Perry productions, died on Friday at age 44. Zuri Craig debuted in America's Got Talent with his favorite singing buddy, Jeffrey Lewis. With their spectacular voice, they leave the judges and audience amazed by their performance. Besides, he was a talented American actor, best remembered and acknowledged for his characters in Medea Gets a Job and Medea's Big Happy Family. At this devastating incident, Craig's family issued an official statement that stated, It is with profound sadness that we announce the transition of our beloved son, brother and friend, Zuri Craig. We thank you in advance for your prayers. Please honor our privacy at this unimaginable time of mourning. Even though no source of death was mentioned in the statement, many people on social media have been connecting Craig's death to the report published by Los Angeles Times. It has been unofficially concluded that Zuri Craig left the mortal world after meeting with a fatal car accident. After the collision, the localities of the area rushed to the spot for help. The ambulance and the police were informed at once by the residents. But unfortunately, the victim did not cooperate with the medical aides and took his last breath. The fans mourn the loss of an incredible talent, but he will always be missed, that's for sure. 2022 has been a year of great loss. All these great stars will always be remembered by the fans and family. Even though we know they are in a better place, they will forever be missed. The vacuum left behind them in the industry will never be filled. That's it for today, folks. Until next time, goodbye.